So while he's putting this, the speaker in, I'm going to show you guys the grill. We uh, use two aluminum rings. Uh, one acts at, at the bottom of it as a, uh, as a spacer, so we don't have any interference on the driver. Uh, and then uh, Paco here stamped out out of raw metal. Uh, a really nice looking grill that just it finishes off real nice. We got a 45 degree radius on the inside of this ring and on all the outside mounting screws on the grill are, gonna, are beveled so they'll be nice and flush and when this piece gets polished it's going to look just as good as everything else that's polished on that on that car. So again so everything's nice and tight stainless steel machine screws are going to be used to mount the speaker down going into, into nut tricks. In this enclosure is just, you know, most of it's probably, you know, I'd say maybe 60% of it's fiberglass and the rest is, is wood and MDF. Um, we raised it up above the speaker so that the, when the grill goes on, it's, uh, it's going to be flexed to the top. Uh, these are going to be wrapped in English leather. So we actually had a sample of the English leather here because um, we wanted to get the, the, the precise gaps around the edges where this grill is going to go on. So. And then my compressor goes on and makes all kinds of racket. <laughs> you know, welcome to our shop. <laughs> so here's the piece of leather we have. And the deal with this English leather I learned, uh, I didn't, would, didn't really know this until we were started working on this project is uh, in England when they when they when they herd cattle uh, they fence them in with using wooden fences there's no uh, there's no barbed wire used in England so you don't you don't ever see a hide that has any kind of uh, blemishes on it um, because they're not allowed it's against the law to have barbed wire in, in England so over here in the States you know Part of the, the character of our of our leather is it's going to have a, a blemish here and there, um, but not with English leather. So this is the the material they're using to wrap this enclosure. And now we got our grill going on. Cool business. Yeah. <laughs> Grab a screwdriver around when you want it. How about a little mini one? Perfect. Here's a finished picture of a finished, finished one here. Uh, one of the other cool design elements of this is this, this handy bracket Paco welded together. Uh, it's held in there um, from, from the inside with two machine bolts here and then another machine bolt on this side. So it's, it's very, very sturdy. Um, this thing is not going to move. It's going to be mounted to the, to the hinge of the door. And then there's a plastic cover that, that covers the hinge. Um, so it needed to be very, very sturdy. Uh, and and with 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 the uh, the speed and the suspension on that vehicle, that's gonna you know have 850 horsepower. So it's gonna be taking corners pretty fast and probably a pretty pretty much of a little bit of a rough ride. So it had to be very very sturdy, and and this was definitely something that we spent a lot of time working through. Paco spent most of the time working through it, but he did an excellent job. He is a master fabricator. Look at that. Look at that nice finished look. We've got a little bit of a gap around the edge, but again, it's going to be filled with that English leather. Um, this client didn't want any badging, so uh, sorry, Focal, we had to cover your badge. Uh, he wants everything to be just, you know, plain and, and, and simple, um, but, but sleek. So um, that's it for this portion of Audio Experts Live. This is These are our two front speaker pods for the... Cobra rest restoration that we're doing for hull fabrication and, re and, uh, and racing.